Hey, what's up guys? So continuing on with our lectures, we're going to be now taking a look at the color panel or the color tab within Premiere Pro and overall taking a look at basic color correction and basic color grading. But before we jump into that, I need to quickly talk about the uh, the difference between the both of them and provide you guys with a practical example that will help you defer between color correction and color grading. Now, if I give a play on this that's on screen right now, this is the same clip. Both of these are the same clip, but you'll see when it switches to the other one, that something is different. Yes, the first clip actually has um, a, a, a much cooler temperature. Now, even though these are the same clip, um, pretend for a minute that these actually weren't the same clip and they were just, uh, and this one right here was actually the clip that would come after this one in a sequence. Now, what would you think would need to be consistent in these two clips that are part of the same scene and the same sequence? Yep, you are probably guessing it, and if you didn't, well, I'll tell you, it is the colors. For a same scene to actually, or for various different clips that would actually be supposedly in the same scene, they all need to kind of have the same environment, and they need to be telling the same story, even without the person, per se, in the clip telling you exactly what's going on. So, the way that you could actually make an audience feel that clips are part of the same scene is the same sort of color correction and color patterns, however, these two clearly do not have it. And this is a good example of color correction, because in its essence, that is what color correction is. It is taking potential clips that are in the same scene or need to be looking the same, and correcting those colors to to make them as similar and in the same color patterns and color schemes as each other so that the audience subconsciously right away is going to start grouping these these scenes into or grouping these shots into the same scene subconsciously without even having to make the conscious decision that these shots were shot in the same place at the same time and overall in the same scene. And overall, that is color correction in a nutshell, correcting those colors to bring them as closer to the ones in the same scene or the ones that are alike as possible. And in its essence, that's color correction. Now, color grading is actually the process of leveling up all these colors and amplifying them to the next level after you've actually done your original color correction layer. And the reason I wanted to get all of this out just before we crack into actual sections and lectures based on color correction and color grading is that it can be quite a confusing process. And personally, even um, before the past year or so, I thought of color correction as color grading and color grading as the same thing as color correction. But in fact, these two serve very different purposes in terms of leveling up and overall perfecting your image quality and your image color schemes. But without further ado, guys, enough of the explanations. I just wanted to give you a quick explanation and a practical example b b between these two of color correction and color grading. And without further ado, let's crack on with a real hands-on example of how to color correct first, and then we'll be moving on to color grading and also moving on to not only the curves tool within this color correction panel, but also the vignette and everything else that I think would be important for you guys to start learning within the Lumetri color and the color panels.